Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 265. Capillary Fluid Exchange. What are Starling Forces? Starling Forces are forces that determine fluid movement through the capillary membrane. What does the capillary pressure, also known as PC, do to the fluid? The capillary pressure pushes the fluid out of the capillary. What does the interstitial fluid pressure, also known as the PI, do to the fluid? The interstitial pressure, also known as PI, pushes the fluid into the capillary. What does the plasma colloid osmotic pressure, also known as Pi C, do to the fluid? The plasma colloid osmotic pressure, also known as Pi C, pulls fluid into capillary. What does the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure, known as pi i, do to the fluid? The interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure, pi i, pulls the fluid out of the capillary. So you can also think of the colloid osmotic pressure as the attraction pressure, so it pulls towards it. What is the equation of net filtration pressure? The equation for net filtration pressure is P net equals, you first take the capillary pressure and you subtract that with the interstitial fluid pressure. Secondly, you take the plasma colloid osmotic pressure and you subtract that with the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure. Whatever answer you get for the first part, you subtract that with the second part and that will give you the P net. What is the filtration constant, also known as the KF? The filtration constant is the capillary permeability, which is a constant. What is the equation for the net fluid flow, also known as the JV? The net fluid flow is the filtration constant times the P net, which is the net filtration pressure. Where is the fluid building up in conditions such as edema? In conditions such as edema, the fluid is collecting in the interstitium. What are some of the conditions that would lead to edema? Edema is caused by conditions that increases the capillary pressure, this would mean that fluid is pushed out of the capillary into the interstitium, and this happens in conditions such as heart failure. It also can happen when there is decrease in the amount of plasma protein, and this is a condition when there would be a decrease in the plasma colloid osmotic pressure. This happens in conditions such as nephrotic syndrome and liver failure, and what's happening here is the pull of the capillary is going down. So it's not attracting enough fluid back into the capillary. That means there's going to be more fluid into the interstitium, and therefore there would be edema built up in the interstitium. Edema can also build up in conditions which leads to increase in capillary permeability. That means that the, the constant, the filtration constant will increase, and this happens in conditions such as toxins, infections, or in burns. You can also have edema built up in conditions where there is an increase in the interstitial fluid colloid osmotic pressure, which means that the interstitium is going to pull more fluid out of the capillary into the interstitium. And this happens in conditions such as lymphatic blockage. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.